Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on the Photos app, how to edit burst photos. Okay, so today we're going to show you how to edit your burst photos. So again, I'm going to go into my Photos app, and um, in the Albums view, I'm in the Albums view, you can see that there's a burst photo. And um, what is a burst photo? What is it? Uh, it is when you take your photos and you press your home button, if you hold it down... Not your home button. Your photo oh, camera whoops. button. Oh, here comes Siri. If I was on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to show how to take a burst photo, but that, it's not even worth it. But if you're pressing your shutter button right. right on your camera and you press down too hard and you hold it, you'll see it'll bring up this little thing that starts counting. Right. And that means that it's taking more than one photo. Right. And there are lots of reasons you might want to do that, um, particularly like an action shot where something right. is moving. You might want to take a series of 10 photos and then go and look at those and pick the best one that you want. Right. Or do a it. series and have kind of a running, you know, showing somebody right. running, you have could five do that. pictures. Yep. A lot of different reasons you might want, want to. to do them. But there are a lot of reasons you do by accident. I myself... Um, very often press too hard on the shutter button and end up taking a burst. And um, they, you know, they're stored photos on your up on your iCloud and your photo library. And a funny, a yeah, life. my son, a funny story, my 11 year old, um, it was, he was getting messages, his iCloud was full. And I was like, why? You're 11. And, and you're not taking very many pictures. <laughs> and so yeah. we, uh, I looked and he had a burst with 999 photos. Oh I think he thought that was funny. Yeah. So I cleaned that out and it, Freed up his space. So we're going to show you today how to edit your burst. Right. So go look at your burst out. Apple, I think we already said yep. that. Conveniently put them in a folder <clears throat> so you know how many you have. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at one. I find that burst photos are really good taking pictures of the horses because I they move their tails and it's nice to be able to get the, get the shot the right you want. Right placement of the tail. Right. <laughs> so here's um, um, added an, an extra button that a is added to the top right up here when you have a burst photo and it says select dot mm -hmm. dot dot. And if we tap on that, it's going to bring up, it's going to say choose your favorite. And you can go through and you can take a look. We'll go back to the beginning. Now look, no tail. That's not that attractive. There's a tail. That's pretty good. I don't like that tail as well. I don't like that no. one. So I think the one I really like is this one. Right. So there's a little radio button. It's hard to see. A little round circle yeah. here. If you tap on it, you get a check mark. I could select more than one if I wanted to. Yeah, if you like more than one. Right. And then I just say done. And then it says, okay, would you like to keep the other three photos in this burst? Keep everything or keep only the one favorite. And I'm going to say just the one favorite, right. please. And done. Now it moved it out of burst. Right, into all photos. Into all photos. And you just have the one photo. Now edited the burst. Yeah. So it's a good idea from time to time. Check out your burst album folder and see what you have. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.